Hello everyone, my name is Sutton the Wolf, and welcome back to Nekopara, Volume 1. So, there is no Minyuk here anymore. <laughs> he is gone. Um, he decided to leave. This was not his thing, and I totally respect that. Um, yeah, <laughs> I thought it over for a little while, and I realized that not everyone has time for this, not everyone wants to do this sort of thing, um, but... I know what it feels like to have a YouTuber I like um, start a series that I'm really into and then drop it off for seemingly no reason. And so I know how frustrating that can be. And it's not like I'm being tortured to play this game because I really like it, like I've previously said. So I think I'm going to keep going with it for now. Um, you guys can tell me what you guys want to do, um, what you want me to do, rather. Um... You guys can leave me comments or likes or dislikes or whatever you guys want saying whether you want to do this or whether, whether you want me to do this or not. Um, so I'm open to feedback and as far as I know, I'm going to continue this series for a while um, by myself. If another one of my friends wants to join in, I'll certainly let them come on and be on the show. But uh, just know um, Min Hyuk isn't here anymore and he probably won't be for the rest of the series. That doesn't mean he won't be back for other series. I know I'm planning on doing something with him soon, um, but it's just not going to be on this game. So for now, I figured I might as well play this because I know I said in the beginning that I've played it before and so there's not much reason for me to play it by myself, but I thought it over and it's been a while since I've played this. And also, um, like you're not going to get everything on a game the first time through. And so... I feel like going through it a second time would be fun as well, because, I mean, it it's like with books, they say, that the ending's different every time, and so I, I want to see what it's like the second time through, and like I said before, I honestly really like this game, and so I'm sure there are some of you who like this game as well, and so I'm going to continue this for a while, so hope you enjoy. Anyways, so we are talking with Shigure who is our younger sister. And she says, Regarding the situation, I want to respect Chokoda and Vanita's intentions. If Chokoda and Vanita agree with it, then I'll come get them. Was what she told me when, she finally, when I was finally able to get in touch with her. Without any margin of negotiation space, I was struck down. But Shigure, even if you say that, I don't think Chokoda and Vanita will... By the way, Nisama, would you whisper this morning's sweet nothings to your little sister? Don't make it sound like it's some daily ritual or something. In any case, I, I'm sorry. Father's calling me, so I need to get going. Love you, Nisama. I'll talk to you later. Uh, wait, wait, Shigure! Hey. <laughs> Seriously? As the ruthless electronic buzz of a drop call echoed, I stared at my cell phone. And here I thought that I could sort all this out if I could just talk to Shigure. Hey. Oh, oh. Breakfast tastes good! Master's breakfast always tastes good. Meow. God, I just realized how embarrassing that voice can be to do. Oh, this will be interesting. Chokora, there's some ketchup on your cheek. It's cutely artistic. I'll lick it off. Ah, oh boy. <laughs> slurp, slurp. The cat girls in question were happily stuffing themselves with sandwiches. These sandwiches, incidentally, contained tomato, cheese, and lettuce. With an over-easy over fried egg tucked inside all of that, it was a simple meal. I haven't had an egg sandwich like that in a while. That sounds really good right now. Jeez. Don't get me hungry, game. Breakfast was pretty much like this. You two are definitely going home today, okay? Is it not fun having Chokoro and Vanida around, Master? Chokoro is a lot of fun, you know? With Chokoro, it's world-class level of fun. <laughs> Master was really looking forward to it last night, too. You shut up with your innuendos. I don't want none of that. Stop with the deliberately misleading words. I sighed at their happy-go-lucky mindset. I took the opportunity to fill their empty glasses with milk. The eating habits of cat girls were pretty much the same as those of humans, so that part was straightforward. 
Of course, what they liked and disliked depended on each individual cat girl. In the end, I wasn't able to get everything put away yesterday. Today, I really do have to start getting ready for the bakery's opening, too. That's why I don't have time to, rela to relax and play with you two. Be good girls and go home. I said that to them with a sandwich in my hand. Would Chocoda being around cause problems for Master? She put her sandwich down on her plate. And just like yesterday, she looked at me with upturned eyes. Yeah, it's a problem. I answered her clearly. I see. So that's how it really is. Oh man, it's even got like the sad music going. Now that Mean Hyuk's not here, I feel like I'm just gonna get like really like emotional into this game like I did with Purino Party. Oh god. Mean Hyuk! Come back! Her shoulders drooped more than before. The ears which sat atop her head drooped down hardly too. Chokora. Unable to make fun of anything, Vanida could only look on with concern. Uh, the pain from last night pricked at my heart again. I tilted the already cooled coffee cup as my emotions dulled, unimpeded by my judgment. Besides, besides, Chokoda wants to be with Master. Her usually always perky ears were drooping. Chokoda was speaking clearly under her own volition. If Chokoda is here, then I am too. I think I want to be here too. Vanida's usually blank expression did not change. However, she showed me her strong determination. Hmm. I don't remember Chokoda or Vanida ever being this disobedient. That thought stayed in the back of my mind. But if I was going to be swayed by that, then I wouldn't have said this. That. Understood? I never really got that at first. That they said, like, I said that, and then they just say ellipse, that. So I guess he's just, like, saying something that they don't want us to know. I never did. I can't remember what it is, and I can't remember if they actually do say what that is. So I actually am really curious now. Doorbell? Who's here? Hmm? Hello? Hello? Okay. I'm with Royal Wood. Thank you very much for your business. I'll show you some Royal Wood. Wow, that was bad. Shut up. Shut up, Internet. <laughs> I can hear the com- No, God, the comments! No! Jay no! I'm not a pervert, I swear. I'm here to deliver the, ta the tea set you ordered. I'll bring it onto the beaker. It uh. I'll bring it onto the bakery. Jeez. This should be all the boxes. If everything looks to be in order, could you please sign this invoice? She smiled brightly and brought out the invoice along with a pen. Okay, let's see. I looked over the sales invoice I received once more. Hmm, somehow this doesn't look like what I ordered. Eh? Is that so? Are you saying that these aren't the correct items? No, the stuff I ordered isn't here too, but... I looked over at the pile of boxes inside the bakery. Inside of my tiny bakery was a mountain of boxes. A mountain. I, I kind of wish they'd, like, shown that in the store. Like, maybe had an art drawn for it or something like that. Because it's kind of... I don't know. It looks like there's nothing in here. It was as if the inside of the bakery had become completely made of boxes. Oh, okay. Maybe these tiles are just the boxes, then. They're just uniformly stacked and have tables on them. <sighs> wow. As you can see, we don't need this much tableware inside the bakery. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll check with the main office right away. Uh, could you give me a few moments? Heh. <sighs> I've never had an issue with moving, like, with moving people before. Like, messing up the information, or like, like, messing up the stuff that we get, or like, bringing the wrong stuff. I can imagine that's a real pain in the ass to deal with. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Because of an error on our part, it appears that another order got mixed in with yours. I, I imagine that you may be in need of these items right away, Mr. Minaduki. So, if, if at all possible, if you would be able to accept this order... 
except disorder. Uh, eh? From all this? The mountain of cardboard boxes towered over everything. I was at a loss for words. Every box was of equal size. I wouldn't know what was inside each of them without opening them up. On top of that, looking at the sales invoice, I could see that they all contained expensive tea sets and tableware. And if I accepted it all, it would be a lot of work to deal with all the new items. Uh, um, there's still things that need doing in advance my bakery's opening, so I don't mind accepting these, but it's going to take a while to deal with all this. Uh, of course, I'd be more than happy to help. It's kind of a bummer that they don't have, like, a drawing of her. Like, they only really have drawings of, like, the main characters. The main characters being, like, the like the guy and the cat girls and whatnot. Like, I, I wish they would have, like, drawings for these alternate characters. Just kind of help immerse more. I don't know, maybe I'm just being nitpicky. I have to make it to my next delivery, after all. Look, you don't need to put all this pressure on me. From the looks of it, it would take two hours or more. But to have it re-delivered would take double the effort, too. Hmm? <laughs> oh, God. Z. <laughs> oh, dear. That's right! I have a lifeline! Cats! Physical labor time! Yeah, yeah. What is it? Nyandeska. <laughs> oh, that pun. You've really saved me, cat girls. Thank you, thank you oh so very much. Well then, I'll be on my way. Huh. Uh, I'm exhausted. I glanced at the table where we'd finished organizing, lowered myself into a chair, and, re and relaxed my shoulders. Hi, Chokoda. You're very close. Master, here's some cold tea. Please enjoy it. Thanks, Chokoda. Don't mind if I do. I downed the cold tea in one gulp. Somehow or another, the light meal tableware had arrived. Soon, I really had to get the bakery ready for its opening. I did say I needed any help I could find. Ooh... We gonna we gonna hire the girls, and I really did need help this time. Hmm. <laughs> praise me, 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 please. I could sense the praise me aura coming from Chokoda. She had a wide smile on her face and a ready stance to receive my approval. Thanks. I couldn't have done it without you two. Yeah. Vanita, Master is praising us. Yeah. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> yes, yes, it was worth it watching from the shadows. You did well. <laughs> Jogoro was helpful, right, Master? Right? <laughs> it's difficult for Master to work alone after all. Right? Right? Yes, yes. Assistance from a cat girl is definitely effective. If we weren't here, I imagine you'd still be sorting boxes. Hey, you two are getting a bit too close. They leaned forward towards me for emphasis. It is true that without you two around, this would have been a real problem. But but that's a different issue from the one from before. You two have to go back home. Besides, it's not like I could ask you two to work for me or anything, okay? Now that I think about it, like, how would that work with, like, paying them? Like, I mean, I, I don't know if cat girls would be allowed to, like, receive pay. I'm not sure. Because, I mean, they are considered pets. So, I don't know. That's weird. It's kind of like the whole... I, I, I was talking to Minhyuk about this earlier. I don't know if I mentioned it on the show. But, uh... The whole age thing. Where they, they like, look like they're 17, 16 years old. But they're, like... It's, like, 8 months or something like that. 8, 9. Like, I feel like there's some loopholes. Like, some plot holes that can be drawn about there. Like, I, I don't know. Like, it, it feels like these girls would just, like, die off in, like, a few years, and that would be really, really sad. <laughs> and, like, I don't know. And there's, like, the whole situation if they're working for you, like, how, how integrated into society can they really be? Like, I don't know. Seems weird. Is that so? Chokoro guesses it's no use, then. Aw, damn it. Don't go all cutesy-eyed on me. Her shoulders drooped along with her ears and tail. They, they showed that on the, the ears. I don't know if they... I didn't really pay attention to the tail. 
Her tail looks like it's really high up, as well, like normal. The enthusiasm she showed earlier completely disappeared. She sighed deeply and looked disheartened. Since we're here anyways, Chokoda guesses she'll go clean up. Aww. So sad. She trudged up to the second floor, still dejected. <sighs> Chokoda is an idiot. I knew she was pushing herself to be bright and full of energy. But even so, this wasn't something I was going to easily change my mind about. It was all the more with how much she cared for me. Uh, what do you have to say, Vanya? Is it that much of a bother for us to be here, Master? Are we bad cat girls? Oh, I just cut her off, sorry. She spoke quietly in her usual way. Vanya tilted her head as she asked that question. You two aren't bad cat girls, and that's why I can't have you stay here. We can't stay even though we aren't bad cat girls? It's because you two are good cat girls that I can't allow it. Mm. Say more. She blinked as she took in my words. It was almost as if she was trying to peer inside my heart. She stared directly at me, long and hard. Humans are hard to understand. Cat girls do not understand such things. I always thought what it would be like to be like, be a pet for a day. Like... Like, if you could live as a dog or something. Like, have you ever had that thought? Like, like I remember back in high school, whenever I was having, like, a rough day, I would always just be like, oh, I wish I could just, like, be my dogs for a day and just, like, lay down and lay on the bed for, like, the entire day or, like, just run around and do whatever. Like, I feel like it'd get boring after a while, but, like, once in a while it wouldn't be terrible, you know? If we like a human, we want to be near them. At the very least, that's how I feel. Vanida. I will go check on Chokoda. She's definitely, like, more level-headed than Chokoda. Chokoda's, like, the really cutesy, like, emotional one that, like, pulls on the heartstrings all the time. And Vanida's, like, the cold, hard logic and, like, the... Well, I don't know about cold, hard logic, but she's, like, really uh, stoic. And she's got, like, she does use logic a lot, and she's, like really straightforward about things makes you think i like that i like that contrast they have with those words she went upstairs the sound of her small footsteps slowly disappeared and before long i couldn't hear them anymore humans are hard to understand huh inside the bakery now devoid of anyone but myself i repeated those words she just said to me now that i think about it that's a pretty inconsistent way of thinking isn't it cats do not understand that Having heard that said aloud, I began to understand what it really meant. Must be pretty nice to live the simple life of a cat girl, huh? I wonder how simple it really is being a cat girl. I don't know, because like, like I was saying earlier, I wonder how integrated they really are in society. So like, they hinted earlier that like, they went shopping with Shigure all the time. Like, I don't know. It makes me wonder, like, can you send them out on a Renz or something? I don't know. I wonder how simple their life really is. I pondered as I looked at the name of... Eh. I pondered as I looked at the name of the bakery affixed to the window. With a bitter smile, I began to clean up the tea sets that had arrived earlier. Eh? Eh? Yeah, I broke Master's cup! Let's just say the cup broke by itself. Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you can. All this stuff really does help me out as a YouTuber, and I love hearing what you guys have to say. Let me know what you think about this series, whether you want me to continue it by myself, whether you want me to find another person to do voiceovers with for it, so maybe like vary it up a little bit so you're not just listening to me the entire time. Whatever you guys want, I'm open to suggestions. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I will see you guys next time on Nekopara Volume 1.